What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. It's been such a long time since I've last recorded, so um, I'm probably a little bit rusty. Um, I've been itching for some Wi-Fi battles, to be honest with you, and it's been... It's been a long time. Um, I'm a little bit rusty. I, I still can't talk, by the way. I'm a little bit rusty as far as Pokemon goes. Um, and we're against an OU team with the exception of Carvana. So we're about to get smacked. Now, if you guys are not familiar, we do three Wi-Fi battles within the same team before we switch it up. So um, I believe the last time we've had Wi-Fi battles, the um, we actually used the same team twice. So we're due for one more Wi-Fi battle with this team. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, I honestly think, and I can see him starting with either the Quagsire or the Mamos line. Both are really good Stealth Rock setters. Um, actually, it does, uh, I'm pretty sure Quagsire gets, I'm, see, I'm already rusty. But um, Tapu Fini is a threat. So is the Buzzwool. Really, he has a lot of team, a lot of Pokemon in his team that are threats. And I think Diggersby is going to be one of our best friends, um, particularly against the Heatran. Heatran can be a little bit annoying. And um, yeah, so long time no see. How have you guys been? I also thought I would make myself a brand new Lee card uh, just to keep the tradition going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I, I'm really rusty with my commentary, by the way. It's been such a long time, and he started with the heat ran, so I am actually in very, very, very deep trouble. So I try to predict his lead, and he predicted mine. How? I have no clue. Obviously, I think the play to make here is to switch out into either the Diggersby or even the Lancer, and either way, it's a win. Now, let's, let's go ahead and analyze a little bit. So if I come into the Diggersby, who is he going to go out into? Um... He's probably going to come out into the Quagsire who can take a smack, uh, well, yeah, take a smack to the face, in which I can probably U-turn. Um, I could also bring in the Lantern. I can't really Bolt Switch, and Quagsire probably has Volt Absorb, so I'm really thinking that the Pokemon to go to for now is going to be the Diggersby. We are Choice Scarfed, and if he goes for a Lava Plume, and I'm knocking on wood that I don't get burned, um, I should be okay. Yeah, so Lava Plume, please don't burn. Please do not burn me. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Okay, I still got that good luck, that good juju, if you will. And I think it's actually a really good opportunity for me to Earthquake. I am huge power. I'm uh, I'm Jolly Nature. I should have U-turn. I'm still second-guessing myself here. So Buzzwool does come out. U-turn was indeed the play. Now, the bad news for us is that Diggersby cannot come into another attack. Um... We would, we're actually going to have to switch him in a little bit. And now that I'm kind of looking at my opponent's team, he has a very bulky team. I wouldn't be surprised if the Mamoswine is Assault Vest. So, um, with that being said and done, I'm not afraid of the Fighting type move. I can go for the Dusknor. I don't think the Buzzwool gets knockoff. Um, typically, Buzzwool run Bulk Up. I know that for sure. I know they also run like Leech Life and um, Drain Punch and Toxic. I actually forgot about Toxic. Yeah, but that's typically the Buzzwill set. And I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here. I am running Will-O-Wisp on this thing. Um, if Heat Ran comes in, I'm not really afraid. Because I could actually um, go for the Power Up Punch. Since this thing is running Power Up Punch. Now, this team is not the best team I've ever built, to be honest with you. Give me a second. Sorry about that, um, but basically, yeah, not not the best team I've ever built, and I've been building some new teams, but I thought we would be due for another Wi-Fi battle with this team before I introduce my second team um, in a long time, which uh, I'm not very, very, very caught up on what's being ran in Sword and Shield. So yeah, probably Heat Ran is going to come in. Tapu Fini, actually. Am I afraid of that? I kind of am. The best attack I got for this thing is going to be the Earthquake. So his team is obviously overpowering powering mine. Now will o -Wisp comes out and obviously it's blocked because of the Mist. Wow, my opponent's team is actually pretty good. And the bad news is on my Lantern, I'm running um, Bolt Absorb instead of the Water Absorb. Like I, Oh, I'm running Water Absorb. 
That's actually really good news. So I can go Lantern or I can go Ferrothorn. I am Assault Bested, so I can probably discharge, slow this thing down, or I can take advantage and go for Stealth Rock and Spikes. Okay, think really quick. I think Lantern is the play here because I can at least get a little bit of momentum if he wants to go ahead and switch, um, which more than likely will be the Mammal Swine if he switches. So that wouldn't be that wouldn't be surprising to me. So Nature's Madness is going to cut down my HP. It's actually a very underrated move to be running uh, Nature's Madness. I run, I actually run that on my Bulus. So here I'm actually going to predict the switch, and I'm going to go ahead and go for a Scald, bring in the Mammal Swine. I know you want to bring in the Mammal Swine. You're kind of playing aggressively. Oh, I forgot about this thing. I really did. And it's I'm thinking Earth Power. Burn it, please. Please burn it. Please, please. I know you want. Okay, that's fine. So two things I think I'm running. He's running. I'm gonna be bold and predict the scald here. If I lose lantern, I lose lantern. Obviously we outspeed. Can we get the burn so we can knock this thing out next turn? No. Recover. Okay. So he kind of. So if I were to guess, this thing is running toxic and it's running um, scald. Recover and uh, something else probably self rocks. I'm gonna go ferrothorn here take that as an opportunity to set up my own rocks if he does decide to set up his rocks um, And then if I go ferrothorn he's gonna go heat ram that's gonna give me the opportunity to go back into the diggers V So I can probably try to double switch it is a risky play and we have seen it in the past that I am not very good at double switches So we'll see so I'm gonna go ferrothorn here He's probably gonna go toxic yawn that's his attack okay that's fine by me now i don't really want to set up the stealth rocks to be quite honest with you or the spikes quite yet um but i do want to predict the switch here should i i think knockoff is the proper attack you're gonna switch you're gonna go into the heat ran and i'm gonna knock off oh tapu fini I wonder why what do you have for me nature's madness? That's what you got for me That is what you got for me. Isn't it? Is it a contact move is the is the question So we knock out more than likely the leftovers and then I Think we leech seed I Think we leech seed and then we go for the stealth rock Unless I really want to punish him with his switches. He's switching a lot, so I think Stealth Rock is the play to make. I don't mind getting hit by... Oh my goodness. He got me good. See, I forgot Tapu Fini run the, the taunt. So I'm kind of in trouble. I have nothing for the Tapu Fini, by the way. Nothing at all. Probably Gunk Shot with the Choice Band would probably hurt. Probably would hurt. I don't want to knock off because it's a waste to be quite honest with you unless he switches. Let's predict the switch I'm gonna knock off here. No nature's madness. I figured I figured as much Please be a contact move do some damage to this top of Feeny, please. Nope. Okay That's fine. That's fine, too. I'm playing like garbage, and I'm sorry I've been playing a lot of other games <laughs> Pokemon is not a game. I've touched in over a year. I think over a year at least um Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. This guy's playing me like a charm. I'm just going to go Lantern here and I'm going to... I don't know. Double switch into something else. I got to play a little bit more aggressively with the switches. Nature's Madness. I don't mind that. Now, the good news is that this guy cannot hit me with a... I have to predict a water type attack shortly to, you know, do something. But I think Ice Beam would be kind of cool to use. Um, however, I do want to double switch here and he's probably gonna go into the what's it called? What is it called? What is it called the quagsire? And actually instead, I don't know why I have the citrus berry this thing is supposed to have the uh, power herb. So um, that's a little bit of a mistake on my end A little bit of a mistake on my end So think 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 if he goes quagsire, what do I go for? What do I go for? I think I'm gonna go for a Rabu. I go Rabu and then I go ahead and U-turn. I do outspeed the majority of his team. 
So I'm gonna go Raboot, that way, whatever decides to come in, he can go for it. He's gonna withdraw Top and Feeny, bring in the Quagsire. I figured as much. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit of momentum by bringing in the gosh darn Raboot, you turning out of there, and then bring in the uh, gosh darn, what's his name? Um, either the Ferrothorn, because I really, really, really need to set up the rocks, though Tapu Fini probably has the Defog. Um, but I really think it's a good time for me to just U-turn out of there. So I'm going to U-turn. We're going to gain momentum. And this is a Choice Banded Rabu, and this is not going to be very effective. Oh, it is. I don't know why. Rocky Helmets. Okay. That actually gives us a good opportunity to go out into... Lantern, not really, but um, he's going to Scald more than likely. So I could actually go for the Pharaoh Thorn here. And then more than likely Leech Seed, probably the Stealth Rock and kind of start punishing him, a punishing him a little bit. You know you want to hit me with a, a Yawn. Great. Fantastic. He's probably going to go for the Feeny here. In which I'm going to Stealth Rock. I don't mind falling asleep, to be quite honest with you. Tapu Fui comes out just like I figured and he's actually gonna defog He's gonna take this chance to defog and that actually gives me the opportunity to go into the rabbit and gunk shot it That might do the trick it might Okay, stealth rock and I know you're gonna defog Tapu Fini. I really really do and I'm gonna go ahead and come out into the um, rabbit and I'm gonna punish it with a gunk shot. I bet you anything it's gonna go for either a a taunt or B a defog because he keeps switching. He absolutely needs to keep the rocks off his field. Taunt. Okay. I don't care. I should outspeed this Feeny now. So what I'm going to do here. He has no... I oh, got Heat Ran. I don't think he'll be bold enough to hit me with... I don't think he's going to go Heat Ran. I really don't. Dunk shot. Please, Rabu. Do not miss because this is the battle. The first thing I tell Raboot not to do, and it's actually, I'm pretty sure it would have knocked out the Feeny too. I'm 99% certain it would have knocked out the Feeny. So now that we know he's going to more than likely come out into the, what's his name? He ran. I'm going to switch out, go into Quagsire, or not Quagsire, um, Diggersby. He withdraws, and I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the, oh, it's Quagsire. So that's my bad. That is my bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just Earthquake here. I kinda have, no, I can't, I can't let him go. I really, oh, well, I got Halucha. I do have the Halucha, and I don't know why I have Citrus Berry, by the way, but I should not. Now, um, I, I'm really comfortable by going to Earthquake, but, though Buzzwell is a thing. Should I predict? Should I predict? I'm gonna earthquake here, and I really don't think you're, you're gonna stay in. I don't think it'll knock out, but I think he's gonna go recover. His best bet is going recover. Yawn. I'm cool with that. Again, I am cool with that. Now, uh, he's either going, he's gonna recover here. I don't think you're ballsy enough to stay in. I mean, to switch out. That's what I thought. I'll take your Quagsire. I will take your Quagsire. You can go ahead and take my Diggersby. That, I don't care. Now, if he goes into Buzzwool, I absolutely have to switch out. That's a stipulation. I, that's non-negotiable. You go into anything else, I don't mind staying in. So like Mamoswine, for example. Now, um, I don't think Mamoswine gets Swords Dance, and I'm really, really, really rusty with my stuff here. So, um, I also don't mind sacking off the Lantern. I really don't. But Diggersby is done. I know that for a fact. I'll let you I'll let you take my Diggersby. We'll make a trade here. I knock out one, you knock out one. He's gonna go icicle crash. I wished it missed. I really wished it missed. Okay. So this gives us a couple options. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually going to bring in the Oh, Dustin are so nice right now. Kind of. I'm almost certain I can take an attack from this thing. I can power up punch and then earthquake the heat ran. I think that's a good move. I think that's a really, really good plan. I think it's a really good plan. Though I could probably be wrong. 
Okay, I think I Rabu, Haolucha, and then Storage Dance and try to set up the sweep. Um, or I can go ahead and go Pharaoh Thorn. Then I can Stealth Rock, predict the switch again, and then, yeah, I honestly should run the fighting type move on my Rabu, if anything. Because now Heat Ren actually walls me. I can essentially Lantern and go for the Skull. So I think what I'm going to do here, this is a switch, right? After my knocked out Pokemon, oh, Lantern is not going to outspeed Mamoswine. Now that I think about it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hard predict the, uh, the Earthquake here. And I'm going to go ahead and switch into the Hawlucha. I think, I think, okay, what are you going out into? Tapu Fini. I knew it. I knew it. Tapu Fini is running the Moon Blast for me. I could have sworn I could have done something here. I got kind of lucky. <laughs> I got hella lucky. I could have honestly bolt switched. Bolt switch would be the play. Now Halucha comes out. Halucha's not gonna do jack to be on poison jab. I'm not in range. I'm not in range. I'm not in range. I'm not in range. Now, um, what do your stats look like? I'm really. I don't even know what my EV spread is to be honest. HP and attack. So you're kind of bulky. I got nothing. I don't think Dusknor is going to serve a purpose in this Wi Fi battle. I got to make sacrifices here. So Dusknor does have the fire type attack, which can get rid of a Mammoth. No. Can't get rid of Mammoth Wine. More than likely has the thick fat. I can't get rid of the gosh darn Buzzwool, which Halucha can also with the sky attack, which is absolutely worthless. Um, I can. I don't got the fire type attack with Rabu. That is really, really, really odd. Why, what was I thinking first and foremost? Um, you are going to go ahead and hit me with the gosh darn um, moon blast, which I know for a fact Lantern can live. I don't think he's running Scald. No, he's running Scald. He's running Scald. Yes! Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Now, I really think you're going to go Mammoth Swine here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit you with the Scald. Nature's Madness. It's got to sound my HP again. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna see my Scald, and you're actually gonna with you're not gonna withdraw because I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be confident that you're not gonna withdraw. I'm I'm almost certain. I'm actually gonna discharge here, given that he stayed in. And Nature's Madness again. Please paralyze this girl. Please, I'm begging you, Lantern, paralyze her. Discharge. Paralyze. Come on. Come on, I need this. I really need this. Oh, come on. Come on. Why am I not getting the rolls today? So you're gonna go Moon Blast. I can hit Feral Thorn here. And I can predict another water type attack. At least I'm hoping. Oh, what are you going out to? Mama Swine. I don't think you can take out my uh, my guy. My <laughs> I'm forgetting his name, Ferrothorn. This is a good Wi-Fi battle. Even though I'm not playing very well, this is a good battle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and come into Ferrothorn here. I'm actually going to Stealth Rock, boys. Please. I think we Stealth Rock and then we go out into the Lantern again. No, because Lantern don't outspeed the Feeny. We've established that. What I can do is bring in Halucha and Poison Jab the Feeny at that range. I'm almost certain. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to Stealth Rock. The Stealth Rock's going to make a huge difference on knocking out that gosh darn Feeny. And we dodge! Okay. You know what else? Ah, oh, this Wi-Fi battle's not going to end. It's not going to end. Okay. Next we Leech Seed. Or Spikes. Leech Seed or Spikes? We're going to Leech Seed here. We're going to make him pay for staying in. You go Icicle Crash again and we dodge again! And we're going to Leech Seed. And I think what we're going to do next, we're just going to um, knock this thing off. Unless, I actually don't mind getting rid of uh, Lantern now. I really, really don't mind. I got lucky with those misses. So I'm going to go ahead and go out into the gosh darn Lantern. We're going to sack him off. And I think, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it works. I don't think I need Lantern anymore. So here comes the Feeny. Oh, oh, Heat Ren. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm actually kind of cool with that. I'm really, really cool with that. Here we go with the Lantern. 
Thank goodness there's no rocks or anything like that. We're going to Scald. We are going to Scald. You can knock me out if you want with the Earth Power. Which we're not going to take because we're all electric type. I imagine we do though. Which we don't. It's a crit! Okay. Now, what do we do, you may ask? I'm going to go out into the Halucha. We actually sword dance and we're going to sweep his scene. That's it. That's it. That's the game. It's a wrap. We're going to sword dance here. Oh, Heat Ran. You do not want the smoke. Bring in the Tapu Fini. Buzzwool. My guy. You do not want the smoke. You do not want the smoke. Okay, so we're going to sword dance here. I almost want to sword dance again. I really, really do. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to force the switch on this Buzzwool. And we're honestly just going to... Sky attack. Withdrawals. Who are you coming into? Mammal Swine. Heat Ran. Okay. He predicted the uh, flying type attack, and that's uh, really good for him. Really, really good for him. What does this Heat Ran have for me? Lava Plume? Come on, choose your attack. Don't be that. Don't be that guy. He's going to stall it. Sky attack. We almost knocked out lava plume it does a lot of damage and it burns me okay that's fine here comes the citrus berry and i don't think we're gonna have time for another attack come on please i'm just gonna high jump kick and halucha you miss and i'm releasing you boy come on please 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 choose an attack i'm begging you high jump kick choose an attack he withdraws heat ran and he's gonna go into the buzzwell very cool very very cool and this ends in a draw this is a draw in my opinion and buzz will takes it like a champ wow what a wi-fi battle and it's a crit okay that was clean homie i'm not gonna lie that was very cool what a, this i miss wi-fi battling i really did i really really did we're gonna poison jab here just because we can But yeah, that was back and forth. And my team was very, very under tiered for what he had to bring to the table. I could have probably beaten him. I'm not going to lie. I felt really confident about beat him, beating him. Um, I'll take your lead card and I'm hoping you have your team recorded. But that's going to be it for the Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to actually start recording this a lot more. Um, I'll probably do two videos this week. I don't know. But I'm actually going to do three Wi-Fi battles now moving forward, just like the old days. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.